Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Reading Space Cadet, Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger, at your service. Well, last week we had a stowaway on board the Skylab Omega. Captain Yago snuck on board through the teleporter, so this week I have installed higher security measures on the teleporter. Yes, let me just go down my checklist and make sure I've covered everything. Establish new coordinates. Done. Okay. Install security device. Excellent. Got the new lock in place. And initiate locking sequence. One, nine, nine. Excellent. That should do it. Why don't I take it out for a test ride? Computer? Initiating teleporter testing sequence in three, two, one. Excellent. Everything seems to be working. Now to test the locking device. Yes, that seems to be locked in very tight. Very good, computer. All right, you may release the door now. Certainly. Enter new access code. What? What, what, what are you talking about? Please punch in new access code. Oh, the code. Oh, sure, I'll just punch it right in. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, it seems to me I left the ship's controller outside. Uh, computer, can you just open the teleporter door for me? I'm sorry, Commander. I cannot do that. The locking device now requires a numerical code. Oh no, I'm locked in! What am I gonna do? Help! Mayday! Mayday! All hands on deck! All hands on deck! Hello? I Dr. Sabinex! something! Did you hear something? <laughs> Dr. Sabinex! Do you hear Do that? Dr. Sabinex! Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, Commander. Commander. It's me, Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Uh, hello, Commander. What are you doing in there? Ah, uh, well, it seems that I'm locked in, uh, Doctor Salmonix. I may need your help. I locked the door. I said I, I locked the door. What's that? I, I can't hear you. Someone locked the door. It seems. Yeah, like. that would be me. I locked it. Yes. Uh, oh. Could you just? Uh, could you just get this open for me? Um, I, I need you to get the ship's controller. Oh, what's that? Oh, yes, that's a great idea. We should pray to the Lord, our ship's controller, okay. to open the door and but... free you at once. All right, great. Um, Dr. Samanex? Do Dr. Sam Did he fall asleep? Do Dr. Samanex! Whoa, the Earth is close to the sun during the winter solstice. <laughs> that's science. <laughs> Dr. Samanex? Oh, I, I, hello, Commander. I need your help. Um, can you just punch in the remote, uh, the remote code? It, it's a board with a joystick. I, I laid it down on my chair. Oh, oh yes, lay down in your chair. What a brilliant no, idea! No, no, I didn't want you to lay down in the chair. No, uh, Doctor Salmonex? Doctor Salmonex? Doctor Salmonex? Ah, gravitation is a phenomenon by which two objects with mass are attracted to each other. That's science, guys. <laughs> I know. Can you punch in the code? Oh, yes. Oh, what, what is the code? The code is 1999. Oh, nine. How convenient. That's my bedtime. <laughs> one, nine, nine. Dr. Samanix? Dr. Samanix! Wake up! Oh, no. It's hopeless. Incoming message. Incoming message. Incoming message. Come in, Skylab Omega. Admiral Angel here. Admiral We've received Angel. an intercessory distress signal from Dr. Samanex. Oh, praise God. Is everything God. okay? Yes, Admiral Angel, I need your help. The teleporter, the computer won't open the teleporter door. Oh, let me try the intercessor override. Okay. Oh, 
It worked! Thank you! I'd be lost in space without you! That's what we're here for. Thanks for the signal, Dr. Samanex. Over and out! Over and out, Admiral Angel. <laughs> Thank God he was there for us. Oh, it feels nice to be rescued by an angel. Oh, that reminds me of stories in the Bible. Now, there were plenty of times when rescues... Uh, ah! Gravity accelerates all forces at the same rate! Commander, yes. you're safe. Did I rescue you? Well, uh, sort of, in a way. It seems that before you fell asleep, you prayed for me. And then Admiral Angel heard the prayer, and, and he set me free. Wow, you were touched by an angel. <laughs> well, yes. The Bible has lots of stories from the Lord uh, sending angels to answer people's prayers. Like he did when Peter was in prison. Peter went to prison? Oh, yes. Yes, King Herod had Peter arrested for sharing good news about Jesus. They put him in prison just for telling people about Jesus? Yes. In fact, Peter was guarded by four squads of four soldiers each, and he was wow. chained between two of them. Wow, he was chained up and surrounded by guards. There's no way anybody could escape that. Ah, but there was something that King Herod didn't count on. Look at what it says in the virtual Bible. All right. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Wow, so they all prayed together to release Peter? That must have been a very powerful prayer. Did God send a SWAT team? Oh, better yet, he sent an angel. Oh, well, I hope that angel brought a hacksaw for those chains. Oh, he didn't need one. The chains just fell off of Peter's wrists, and they walked right past the guards, and when they came to the Iron City Gate, it opened up. All by itself? Mm -hmm. Wow, what happened next? Well, let's see. Once Peter was free, the angel left. So Peter went to the house where his friends had gathered to pray for him, and he knocked on the door. Oh, I bet they were so excited to see him. <laughs> Actually, they didn't even believe it was him at first. What? They thought there was no way that Peter could have escaped from all of those guards and gates and... Jane. But they were the ones that were praying for him. Didn't they believe that the Lord can answer any prayer no matter how impossible? I guess they learned about the power of prayer that day. <laughs> yeah. And I learned that God can still send angels to rescue us, <laughs> even today. Even if they're just admiral angels. <laughs> the Lord hears all of our prayers no matter how small. Because after all, say it with us, kids. Jesus, Jesus is, is the same, same yesterday, yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, so long, kids. Let's get downstairs and check those components.